we get started again, I, I see some people over here that I don't recognize, and I'm guessing that you're students, that you're graduate students, would you, college students, would you stand up and introduce yourselves and tell us where you go to school and what you're doing here? Well, that's awesome. Welcome back. That's great. Thank you. Well, that's great. Well, welcome. Great. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think we're going to. Oh, I'm can't sorry. Hi, them. I can't see you. <laughs> I've got the podium. That's so close to us. Great. Well, welcome. Thank you. And there's one more. I can't. Nope. nope. Okay, we're good. Thanks, okay. everybody. Okay, we're going to go back to our agenda 6.0 additions, corrections, and modifications to the agenda. There are none tonight. We do have one citizen statement. Nasser Hamdi, come on down. Please state your name and your address for the record. We like to limit citizen statements to about two minutes. Good evening. I'll try to limit it to two minutes. My name is Nasser Hamdi, and uh, I'm a resident of 15416 Country Ridge Drive, and uh, my kid, Ryan, uh, seven years old, goes to Claymont Elementary. Um, I have a daughter, Maya, five, and she'll start at Claymont uh, this next coming year as well. We love the school district. We moved here for the school district, and we, my children love the school as well. Um, recently, we had the opportunity to uh, volunteer for a JA day at the school. It's teaching financial health and financial wellness to the children. And I was somewhat disappointed when my child invited me to join him for lunch, and I found everything on the menu to be essentially processed food. Um, for all the effort we put into nourishing our children's minds and building their character and building them academically, we don't seem to put the same emphasis on teaching them healthy eating habits and expecting them to receive the nourishment and the habits for how they eat that would transfer with them for the rest of their lives. I think that's something of extreme importance and I think our schools can do better. And uh, that's all I want to talk about this evening. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. You'll receive a reply in writing. Uh, 8.0 approval of agenda. May I have a motion and a second to approve tonight's agenda for the regular meeting of the Board of Education? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries 7 0. 9.0, we have no resolutions tonight. 10.0, communications. 10.02 calendar of meetings. The annual Board of Education organizational meeting is scheduled at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, April 22, 2015 at Central Middle School. The next regular board meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, April 22, 2015 at Central Middle School with an anticipated closed session at 6 p.m. 10.02 election update. At the end of filing, three people have filed for the two open positions on the Board of Education. They are in order of filing. Please stand. Oh, okay. I will. <laughs> Beth Feldman. <laughs> Sadir Rathod, who I don't believe is here with us tonight, and Kim Applebaum. Filing closed on Tuesday, January 20th at 5 o'clock p.m. at the Administration Building. The election will be held on April 7th, 2015. Unfortunately, there are very few items on the ballot at this election, but I encourage each and every one of you to do your constitutional duty and go and vote. 10.02, um, Board Liaison Reports. Got one. Go ahead. I just want to reiterate what uh, some of the board members, we, last night we attended the all-district uh, orchestra
concert that was held over at Queenie. Uh, over a thousand of our students that have uh, picked up strings were performing, segregated by elementary, middle school, and, and the high school. And uh, for me, it was a very moving experience, uh, uh, one that at times even brought tears to my eyes because I just could feel how dedicated and wonderful these students are. I'm extremely proud of them. And uh, they excelled and, and, and gave us a concert that if you closed your eyes, you might even think it was a college orchestra or even one better than that. Just uh, amazing. And some of our conductors have a jump in their step, but they made it interesting. And it was uh, just a, a, a wonderful evening. And I'm proud of our students and glad to be part of that and be able to witness that. I, I want to say ditto because I attended that as well. And they are the most talented students I have ever seen. And kudos to the parents for you know sticking with it as well and being so supportive. Okay. Yes. Uh, last week, Sam and I attended the Project Parkway Steering Committee meeting. Um, fairly well attended and uh, a lot of planning for next year. What else did we hear about, Sam? <laughs> Basically, it was uh, planning, just kind of reorganizing right. and kind of forecasting what the future of Project Parkway will be. Right. Uh, acknowledging what has been accomplished in so many ways. Uh, the list is very extensive. And it's something to be proud of uh, for all of us in the district as well. And we have our last Project Parkway Town Hall meeting on Monday, Monday. night Monday. at North, North High School. North High School at Rating, 7 Rating and reporting is the main topic. So. Right. Yeah. So hope, hope to see you there. I, I would just say one of the highlights for me at the meeting was a, was a review of a lot of the task forces that the right. district mm -hmm. had uh, has conducted over the years around uh, Top topics come out of Project Parkway, but also timely. I thought that was really good, and it really gave a chance to look at, as Sam said, the progress right. and now the work that's been. it's all coming back to me. It's Thank coming, you. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great. Anything else? Okay, we are going to proceed. Upcoming subcommittee meetings. Dee just mentioned the Project Parkway quarterly meeting uh, next Monday, and then the TLA subcommittee meeting Thursday, April 16th at 3 p.m. at ISC. Board subcommittee reports we heard about the steering committee. And I think that's all we've had since our last meeting. So now we are going to get to action items 11.0. May I please have a motion to approve, in a second, to approve the consent agenda as presented in the April 1st, 2015 board materials? So moved. Second. second. Is there anything to be pulled to action or closed? Okay, then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion carries 7 0. Action items, there are none tonight. Policy review 13.01. JK.BP Student Discipline, uh, Michael Barilak, Coordinator of Student Discipline. Uh, does anybody have any questions for Mr. Barilak? No. Nope. Okay, so this policy will be up for approval at the April 22nd board meeting. We have no reports tonight, no work session tonight, no call for a special meeting tonight. The next scheduled closed session anticipated to be on April 22nd at 6 p.m. at Central Middle School. Details of the closed meeting session will be posted within 24 hours of the anticipated meeting. 18.0 recess. Okay, I think I'm setting a record here. 19.0 closed session. We are going to adjourn the open meeting and we are going to return to close. Thank you all for coming and we'll see you on April 22nd.